The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at this S&P trade that I spoke about earlier. What I was looking at here, folks, you can see the 61% retracement of the high we made back here in September came in right here. So that's a valid number. Also, being up five days in a row, highly suggestive of a correction. But, folks, this has been a monster. Just let me show you how important this thing has been. Look at this, folks. We haven't had anything in here. We've had one correction here, folks, of about 20 pips uh, right in here. That was 20 pips. That was the last time we had one of those. That was back on the uh, 1st of November. Here we are out here in the 6th, so it's been quite a while. Now, all I was looking at last night was a fact of this area right here. And all I said was, is to sell that retracement back, sell that 382 retracement back. Here it is right here. That came in at 4380. Your stop had to be right above here. Now, it went against you a little bit, but now you see it's come down, and it's just completed an ABCD pattern right here. So there's your profit objective on this short-term trade. That's all this is, folks. With all this action that we've had today, we're only down 20 handles from the high that we made back in here. I mean, that's the first time we've had a 20 handle one since I just pointed out to you back on November the 1st. So there is an ABCD coming in here just about right now because if you look at it, and we're going to, there's your AB leg right here, okay? And there's your CD leg coming in right here at 43.71. So there should be some support coming in here if these numbers are any good, and sometimes they are, sometimes they're not, but Let's pay uh, close attention to that one, okay? Another one that we were looking at this week, of course, if you remember, we'll get this up here to take a quick look at it. This was the cattle market. Uh, this is December cattle. And, of course, here's where we were on Friday. And we said if it opens unchanged, sell it. And, of course, it gapped down today and has broken down. It has given no indication of a 382 rally of any kind. If we were to get one of those here, over the next few days, let's put this up here on a small time frame here. If we were, see, there's the big break now. If you were to get a 382 retracement here in cattle, whatever this low is down here, folks, I don't know what it's going to be, but whatever this low happens to be. Now, you can see the really small ABCD pattern right here, folks. For cattle purposes, that's, that's really a, a not tradable because that's only 40 pips and it doesn't, but it's a nice... A, B, C, D. Now, after the market broke from Friday, you'll notice here, there's where we were on Friday. And then we break down here on uh, Monday morning because it opens, you know, it's not traded overnight. We break down here, then we rallied up. Now, one of the things that I try to look at is to see if that rally, even though it's a small rally, it only rallies, uh, wow, it's 100 points. That's still quite a bit. That's $400 in cattle. You'll see that the rally does not quite make the 382 that's up into this gap area so we haven't done that yet and we've got this little one here so watch for a 382 rally off of this whole thing folks for tomorrow maybe even today but uh, there's what you want to be watching there's your high down in here there's your low so that would come in here at around 8270 uh, that would be up about 130 points which would be a substantial rally if we get that here uh, into the cattle all right now, we had one other one that we were really interested in. It was doing everything we wanted to do, and that is our euro. We'll get this up here and put it up on the four-hour because that's what we were looking at on Friday. And you can see we went up to the exact tick, folks. We hit the exact 382 retracement right up here, right on the money at 47.57. We're now 25 pips below that. You see we're closer to the low then we were the high, so that's a good sign. If it gets above here, your risk is only 15 pips at that point. But uh, that's what you're looking at. There's your 382 retracement right there. Okay, very, very important. And there's your ABCD right here. The dif distance is not very much. 
So that's what we were watching here on those three uh, trades. Now, they didn't get filled on the cattle, but we had one other one, and that was the gold market. We'll get this up here to let the folks see what we were doing in gold because we had a pretty nice situation going on in there. We'll, I think we had to put up the four-hour chart on that. There's where we were. Get this up here, and you'll see, oh, we're going to have to play a little game here to get these head and shoulders patterns lined up. There's your left shoulder. There's your head right here. There's your right shoulder. There's where we were uh, on Friday. And as you can see, uh, we've already started uh, to move down. Our, our ultimate objective here is going to be uh, 1970. So that's uh, one of the things that you want to pay uh, sort of close attention to as you're looking at this is where we're going to. We should get a little rally in here to get the uh, another 382 retracement. If we go down to a smaller time frame, we'll go down to a 13-minute and, oh, we almost had one here, but not quite. Let's get this up here. No, we're not even close to a 382 on that one. Well, we're not too far away, were we? We're only about a dollar and a half away. And now we're coming down. So watch a 382 here uh, in the uh, gold for a potential short sale because this has the high probability of uh, going a lot lower. So keep your... Uh, my, like tomorrow would be a really good spot to watch this 1996 tomorrow that would be taking out the previous day's high and you still would be setting right at a 382 of this move right up in here so that gives you a really good spot to get short hopefully with an ABCD pattern in between and that will give you a pretty good idea of uh, what we're watching here as we're looking at some of these things here unfold okay all right, now let's move on here to one other one we got to look at here, and that is the Bondolis. Our guest today will be none other than Norman. He calls it to the minute, Winsky, and here's our four-hour chart. There's our huge ABCD pattern way up in here. I really thought this was going to be it, folks, and uh, it turned out to be not it. And you can see we rallied all the way up to here. That was a 50%. That was a – we rallied seven handles, folks. This is the biggest rally we've had in bonds in I think over a year, seven points, I'm pretty close to that anyway. Anyway, so now we're, we're starting to back off. Now, if this is really bullish, and we're gonna assume that it is, we shouldn't get anything lower than a 382 off of the last move here. So if we go to the high, excuse me, the low here, you can see here we're setting at the 382 right now as we speak at 112.14. You see the importance of this number? Now, this is a four hour chart, so this took a long time to get here, folks. You know, this was the high on the third. Here we are on the sixth. So it's been three days, and we're just making a 382 retracement here. So there's nothing bearish about this chart. It might be later, but right now it's holding up relatively well, setting right at the 382 of that move right here. So that means something in my book anyway. So let's pay attention to it. As we go down to a smaller time frame like the hourly, You'll see here we have this pretty big break here. There's the 382. Let's draw it in so everybody can see it and everybody will know that we're not just whistling disky. All right, let's take a look at it. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, yeah, folks, I wanted to go over this NASDAQ chart. You can see the ABCD on the downside, the double ABCDs. The rally back here, six days. Now, we made – what the heck is this? We made a higher high. Just a minute, Mr. Tucker, I tell you. ABT, uh, time has changed. I'm on the radio show now. I'll call you afterwards, okay? okay. All right, brother. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay, and Mr. Tucker's taken care of. Anyway, you'll notice here we have the three lower highs in here. Okay, now we made a higher high today in the NASDAQ. Let's just take a quick look at that and see what it did. Uh, there it is. There's your new high right here. Uh, you came down. Then you went up, and now you're making a little bit of a correction. But you did take this high out, whereas we didn't do that in the Dow Jones. We didn't do it in the uh, E-mini S&P, and we didn't do it in the Russell. So that's uh, only one that did it was the NASDAQ. That's probably one or two stocks like NVIDIA or one of the other ones that's uh, the usual the usual favorite. So that's another reason why we were looking at that. Now, remember, folks, the only thing we've had here since last Friday is we've had one really good correction here. It went from 15,160. It dropped 100 handles. Okay, now the S&P never dropped more than 20 handles. This dropped 100 handles. So if we drop 100 handles, that's going to take us 5260. It's going to go right here to 5160. Okay, that's going to be equal to this sell off right here. So what you want to do is measure from your low up to your high. And put that in there, and then you're going to see there's your 3A2, there's your there's your equal move right here, 5160, and at 5134 is your 3A2 retracement, and that would be the largest correction that we've had since this whole thing started last Friday when the Fed was out there talking. So I hope that makes sense. Remember, when I'm looking at these shorter term folks, you're not looking for a 20 or 30 point move in the S&P. Yeah, you might get it if you're lucky, but you don't rely on luck. You rely on the charts telling you what to do. And all they've done is just backed off a little bit. As a matter of fact, with the E-mini S&P, as we're looking at it here, we just completed a very small ABCD pattern, as I pointed out to you, at 43.71. There it is right there. This should hold if it's any good at all. Now, we didn't check to see if that was a 382 off of this, but we're going to do that right now from your low up to your high. And that comes in at 43.66. So 71 is the ABCD, okay? 
and the 4367 is basically the 382 of the whole move down. Now that's going to be really important because if that's all we get, and uh, you know this thing doesn't have any, <laughs> it doesn't have any apparent weaknesses. Nobody wants to be a seller. It's amazing. Everyone wanted, wanted to be a seller on the uh, 27th of October. Here we are on the 6th of November. You can't find a seller in sight. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here as we're looking at this. And I think I just lost data. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I think I'm going to jump out the window. No, I'm not going to do that because I'm on the first floor. Hold on one second here. Let's take a quick look. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is not. The data is kaput here. Yeah, shut the front door and stop. I got to get the other one. I got to get the other program hooked up here, folks. That's nothing I can do about that data going, ah, there we go. Data is back, and here we are trading at 43.65 right here at the 382 right now on the E-mini S&P right there. Let's just in uh, get this data working again, refresh it for today, and hopefully it'll refresh. But you can see it's trading here right now. We went off the air. It was 71. Now it's 66. So there is your 61% uh, retra uh, 382 retracement. Let's just double check the uh, the NASDAQ to see if it got to it. Yes, there it is right now. You see the NASDAQ is almost at the 382 retracement now. There's where we went off the air. Uh, let's see if this will blow up and refresh the maximum. Sometimes it works. Nah, they don't refresh right away, but they will. We're right at the 382s on these right now, folks. This is the, the largest correction we've had in the S&P now uh, because we've gone, we've, we've dropped 30 handles. We've gone from 96, 43.96 to 43.66. That's 30 handles. That's a big move. This one here, we, we went from 83 down to 60. This was only 23, so this is a larger correction and what we've had so far, so this is going to be an interesting one. Okay, let's uh, let's remind ourselves of that. That's what we're paying attention to here, as we're looking at this. Okay, let's move on now. Um, we've already covered the bonds. I don't know if the bonds have made uh, just a second. Let's see if the see if they got to the right number. No, they haven't reached the 14 number yet, but they're they're pretty close also. Okay, and uh, Euro's still coming down. That's a good thing. All right, what else we need to look at here? Oh, one other one that we need to look at for f uh, future purposes. This was the crude oil. Remember, when we had it on the air on Sunday, we were setting at a major, major bottom. Let's get this up here on the daily, I believe we were looking at. There it is right here. We were looking at this potential bottom right there. You see these three lower bottoms that we had right here? We said, look, there are no stops down in here. So what we were doing, we were looking at this on a shorter time frame, as I recall. Move this over a little bit. And there it is. There is a shorter time frame. See this? We, we take out all of these stops here from Wednesdays, Thursday, and Friday stops. Look at this. It goes nowhere. And then we back off. There's your 61% retracement. And it's had a heck of a rally today. There's your, there's your pullback right here. That's 61% retracement. And that means that the 382, we got to draw this in because we're already way above the 382 now in the, uh, the crude oil. It's, I think it went right to the 50%. If I'm, oh, right, 61%. Wow, spot on. Where was I on that one? Uh, 82.26. I missed that one. No ABCD here, but a really nice. Uh, Really nice move right here on that. That's backed off a little bit. So uh, this is a fact that we couldn't get below that. It tells that it had a bullish bias. And then here we are Sunday night. You come in, and all you do is you just back off to the 61% retracement of the previous day's low. There you were. Oh, didn't even get there. Only went to 50%. I, I stand corrected, as I usually do. And then that leads you to the A, B, C, D pattern right up here and now it's backing off a little bit so if this is correct and this is serious resistance what you want to be watching for is you got your low down here there's your a leg right a b c d and watch this one closely folks because this will be the one where the the lady in the uh, italian soprano dress will be singing and you want to be watching that 81 16 that's down 70 points from where we are right now very very important That'll be spot on at a 61% retracement. Also above the opening 
you can't ask for anything better than that if you get it. 8116, you better put that in there just to be safe. See if we're going to get that, and we'll go from there. Listen, we're going to have to pay a few bills here, and then we're going to have our good friend Norm Winsky coming up in about uh, 40 seconds from now. And uh, please, if you have any questions, save them till the very end. He's always got some great information. Uh, tomorrow's guest, uh, excuse me, on Thursday, we're going to have Grace Morris. Uh, tomorrow's guest is tentatively is Jim Bart de Leone of Bart's Charts. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Ord joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors Bull Bear Ratios, and the Trend Panic Levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, and I believe we have Norm Winsky from Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida, in the house today. Norm, how are you doing? Okay, I'm having some technical problems, Larry. Uh, can you hear me okay? Coming in perfectly, my friend. What is the problem? All right, well, you're coming over my speaker, which is kind of... Uh, hold on, let me see if I can fix this. Uh, I don't know. Speaker. How about now? Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. He's coming in perfectly. I don't hear anything now. Sorry for the trouble here. That's all right. Try to get it fixed if you uh, can. I'll go back to where we were. I'll just work with, go with what we got there. I'll go back to where I was. 
with that. Speakers, speakers. All right, how about now? I can hear you perfectly. All right, well, you're coming. It's kind of, well, anyway, I'll work with you this way, but usually I have, I can hear you on my headset, but now I can't. You're so coming I in you perfect. On my speakers. You're anyway, so I guess perfect. we'll move ahead now. Yes, sir. And so, oh, where's my, uh, now I got to get my uh, notes on the, sorry for all the uh, confusion here. All right, I got my notes up. Hopefully your folks can see that. And I was last on your show on the 23rd of uh, October, and I thought I'd review what I forecasted back then and show you the charts, okay? Then we'll talk about what's coming up here right now, okay? So are, you're still there, right, Larry? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So uh, the uh, we had one, two, three, four, five points to talk about last time on the 23rd of October. Uh, AC is a after the close, if you're not familiar with uh, what I do here. And so that was overnight. The planets don't go home at 5 o'clock. You know, like, they don't clock out like a job. You know, they're there 24-7. And so anyway, that night, uh, the 23rd, we had Venus, a Venus cycle, extreme in the Venus cycle. And Venus is cattle, copper, cotton, sugar, and wheat. And then the next night, we had the moon's north node. And, if, and by the way, if you want to help with any of these technical terms, I'll be happy to help you. Give me a call. I'll give you a free class on explaining some of these technical terms. It's actually very simple. It's a matter of familiarity, you know. So the, there's a moon cycle. It uh, was 90 degrees to the U.S. chart there, hitting the U.S. natal chart based on when the country was founded on the 4th of July, 1776. Anytime we have that, that's stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. Then we had another Venus cycle the night of the 24th. There we go. Again, cattle, copper, cotton, sugar, wheat. And then we had a Mercury cycle the night of the 26th. Anytime we have these overnight, by the way, we'll be looking for a possible trade on the next morning's opening. Uh, so we have, anytime we have mercury, we have corn, soybeans, wheat. And then that uh, weekend of the 27th, we had a lunar eclipse. And anytime we have a, that's a special kind of uh, a full moon. And anytime you have a full moon or new moon, we round up the usual suspects, financial grange, precious metals, ca cattle, and cotton. And because, well, actually, the cattle and cotton is due to the fact that that particular lunar eclipse was in Taurus the Bull. So that's for cattle and cotton. So let's go look at the markets now. Corn was going sideways into our two windows we had for corn, so that's a pass. The yellow boxes are a pass. Uh, in contrast, beans dipped into our first window there, which was our first window was uh, a mercury window there on the night of the 26th. So we'll be looking for something on the 27th, and that was a short-term low. Then it popped up for a short-term high over the weekend into Monday's opening on the 30th with the lunar eclipse. And so you had a chance to make about 20, 30 cents, about 30 cents there, and about 20 cents there. So a total of 50 cents on those two uh, uh, signals. Here's the wheat. Wheat popped up into the 27th for a high. And you had a kind of a double top there, on the both on the 27th and the 30th, and then it may have had a nice dip there after the lunar eclipse. Here's your cattle. We made a very nice low here. We had the Venus cycle for the night of the 23rd, and the next morning was the low. The next day was the low of the month, and so if you bought there, I think you would have been pretty happy, or you could have waited the next day and bought it against that low, and then you can see you made a nice rally. Uh, the next, the third signal, which was the lunar eclipse in Taurus, uh, the cattle decided they didn't like that when they're going to ignore it, and it just kept going. So that's a miss. A red arrow is a miss. Green is good. Red is bad. Here's cotton. Cotton made a high there on our, our Venus point. Then, uh, let's see, it was, a, oh, that's right, Venus point, the night of the 20, like the 25th. And wait, that's, I think I made a mistake there. And then the 25th, ignore that one, 25th, and then you made a high here on the lunar eclipse, and that was good. Let's see, Cotton, let me just check my, no, I, I had the Venus here for the 24th, that's right, okay, I'm sorry, that's right. The high was on the 20th, that, that was a Venus point there, and we had another point here for the uh, night of the, yeah, another Venus point for the, for there, and then you had the lunar eclipse. So Cotton hit three out of three. 
That's pretty good. And here's sugar. We had two points here on sugar uh, there and there. And those were near a top. As you can see, that one there was the high of the month. And here's copper. We went 50-50 on the copper with our uh, first Venus point there. It continued higher for another day. It was too much drawdown, so I count that as a miss, even though you're only a day away from that high there. And then you made a nice short-term top there for 50-50 on the copper. Uh, silver popped up uh, for the lunar eclipse right there. Made a short-term top. Gold did the same thing. And here's your S&P. We had five points for the S&P. And you can see everyone worked out nicely. Morning of the 25th. Point before the lunar eclipse right there. And then the lunar eclipse there. And that was the low of the month. And we've been up until today. We've pretty much been going up ever since. So here's the T-bonds. We had a point there for the RUS point there. On the morning of the 25th was a short-term top. We have a pass over here on the lunar eclipse that's going sideways. And the dollar kind of followed that same pattern. Oh, well, actually, the dollar was not as good because we had a miss here on the 25th with the U.S. point. And then it was going sideways for the lunar eclipse. So that didn't work so well. Here's your Canadian. If you want to trade currencies, here's your Canadian dollar made a low on the lunar eclipse. The currencies often follow the moon cycle. Here's a very nice top on the yen. Look at that. And then the next day, off the cliff, you know. All right. So we add up the green arrows and the red arrows. Got 24 winners, three misses out of 27 for 88.89%. The next thing I'm going to show you is unofficial because I didn't show you this in advance. Everything I've showed you up to this point was things I, I showed you in advance. You can go on YouTube and watch it and see if I actually said those things. And that's and then you can go look at the charts and verify everything I've said. You won't be able to do this because I didn't show you this chart last time. I have to take my word for it. I send this out in the letter to my subscribers and every night. And uh, Larry gets my updates so he can possibly verify that I actually blew that line, drew that blue line a month in advance. And then over the course of the month, I add the results of the S&P 500 10-minute bars as we go. Not so good the first week, but then we had a, a polarity flip probably there with Pluto going direct, and then it got on track, and then it was pretty good. There you can see some of the points I talked about. There's your lunar eclipse at the end of October. Uh, there's Mercury at zero south and so forth. You know, there's a whole got class it, there it. That's right, a pay a few bills. Move ahead. Are, are we ready for a commercial yet, Larry? Yes, sir. We've got to make it take a break. Three minutes. We'll be right back with Norm. You Wednesday might think back. that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at tfnn.com the opening call newsletter is written by basil chapman creator of the trading methodology known as the chapman wave the chapman wave up down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices get the opening call newsletter by basil chapman in your inbox every day first time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee if you're not satisfied let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up tfnn.com educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. 
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trans. Please continue, Norm to talk about what's happening today right now we had the reason i asked to come on your show today was we got a big cluster of three major astro points over the weekend we had saturn turn direct in pisces and then this morning uh, we had uh, Sat mars sorry mars uh, hit zero south latitude i think that's about a two-year cycle and then we have this afternoon, right after noon, we had Mercury apohelion. Very unusual for three big points like that to all converge within roughly one trading day or less. And so I'm looking for some uh, major change, major point, turning points here for some of these markets. And you can see uh, the S&P, given that the S&P had that huge rally last week, I think this is a, a high probability window here for making a top of the S&P, for example. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for markets that are at some extreme. Uh, you mentioned the bonds have had a big rally. They may back off here from, you know, based on, on these points. Uh, I don't know that, they, let's see, are they, yeah, that would be later in the week though, because we really don't have anything for the bonds actually until uh, the new moon coming up in Scorpio, which Scorpio, by the way, is uh, the, the sign for bonds. And uh, by the way, they made that low, I think, on the 23rd of October when the sun enters Scorpio. That's it was signed for bonds, you know. So anyway, we got these three points. You have, Mer I mentioned Mercury, Epi, and we have a new moon. That's today. These three points are really applied to the day, the 6th. And then we have the night of the 10th. We have a new moon in Scorpio. And so we're going to be looking at financial greens, precious metals, cocoa hogs, and bonds. Okay, so for the folks who don't know, are not familiar with me, I've been doing this a long time. I'm a former Chicago floor trader. I was all started there in 1975 on the CBOE. Also did a stint on the Chicago Board of Trade. I've been doing, uh, I started it out. Let me tell you something really exciting now. This on October 31 was my 45th anniversary for doing my this letter. I started the letter when some of my fellow floor traders noticed my uh, remarkable market timing and asked me if I'd be willing to share some of my turning times with them. And so I started writing the letter. That was 45 years ago. And if you contact me, I will send you a free report in a celebration of my 45th anniversary for my letter. I will show you how I get these numbers that I get, you know, the results that I get uh, for October. And actually, the numbers go all the way back uh, to 2016, I can show you back to 2016. And so contact me, just email me that you'd like the key date forecast results, and I'll email those to you. And let's see, I got other fr uh, free ways to help you. Contact me. I'll explain some of these terms. And once you learn the term in, in my letter, and nothing that I do that's over a fifth grade level. Here's my contact information. Uh, I'm in beautiful Naples, Florida at 239 Five nine four three nine three nine. That's two three nine five nine four three nine three nine. Or you can email me and with yahoo.com or on Skype. Looking forward to helping some of the folks, Larry. And I'm open to answering any questions you might have uh, from your Tiger Den or whoever. Okay, uh, for, we have a question from one Are you listener. There? 
Yes, sir. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me? Uh, well, the problem is it's not coming over my headset. It's coming over my speaker. Uh, so sp whoever it is, you, maybe you, if I can't hear him, you can repeat it or something. You know? okay. But I can, I can hear you. Which, I know this is probably a question you can't answer. Which is more significant for trading, Mercury or Venus? Uh, no, the, it doesn't work that way. They're all important cycles. Some plan, certain planets are associated with certain markets. That's what it is. Mercury, for example, is the grains. You've got your corn, soybeans, wheat. Venus, uh, wheat is kind of a hybrid, astrologically speaking, and then it connected both in Mercury and Venus. So it's all about, it's not which one's more powerful, although the outer planets tend to be the longer term cycles, you know. So okay. the, you got inner planets, you got outer planets. Inner planets, the ones that are close to the sun, they have, they have fast, you know, shorter, faster cycles. You got outer planets uh, from Jupiter on out. Those tend to be very long-term cycles that can have long-term effects too. Okay, that was the answer. So thank you very much, and we'll have you on again soon. Let us know we'd like to be on, and we'll see if we can squeeze you in like we always do. Great. I really appreciate it, Larry. I'm looking forward to hearing some, from some of your folks. Okay. Thanks a lot, Norm. Norm Winsky, folks, Astro Trend, Naples, Florida. Stand-up guy, and he certainly knows the cycles of the planets. There's no question about that. All right, folks, let's get up here, and we'll take a look at something that we've been watching here since we came on the air, and we're almost to it. We'll just get it up here so we can take a quick look at it together. We're going to take a look at the crude oil because we are approaching our magical number of uh, 40 uh, excuse me 8510 i think that's the number let's say <laughs> well we don't know for sure but we'll get it up here there we are it's 8110 folks right there there's 8110 we came on the air just a few minutes ago about a half uh, 40 minutes ago we were trading up here at 8190 now we're down here we're completing the abcd pattern here so we're really getting close here um, the ABCD comes in a little bit lower, so you really want to be patient and try to, you know, get down right to this spot here, which is uh, right around 8119 uh, to 8117 is the 50% retracement ABCD. So let's round it off to 8120. And uh, you, you, if you believe in buying in the direction of the opening, you know, you're way above. Here's the opening right here. On the 6th, okay, look at this. We're midday, and we're not even close to it. So even that's still above the opening. Your stop's got to be below here, so you're risking about uh, 300 bucks. And if you're right, you could have the grand in it. So watch this level here. This is Mother God and Country, folks. It's an ABCD, okay, and it's coming from a higher bottom, okay, coming in right at the 50%. Now we're setting right at the 382. Maybe this is all you're going to get because sometimes they don't reach these numbers. But this is what you have to wait for, is to wait for this, because this is when uh, all dogs are barking, and that's what we want to be looking for. But this big move down like this, highly suggestive that we are going to get down here to it. This is a pretty big drop, folks. That's dropped 500 bucks in just a matter of 13 minutes, which is quite a bit in the crude oil. So let's keep our uh, eyes on the prize here. Might be a really interesting one if we get down here to this 81 uh, 8120 level for sure okay well there's absolutely nothing for sure but that's what we're watching so we took care of the gold we took care of the euro we took care of the cattle we took care of the crude oil took care of the s p and what else do we have to look at and that is the price of mr appell who's down by the well everybody seems to like this stock so we're going to get it up here so that everybody can see where mr appell is apple there's where we are get up the daily chart and I believe we're up again today. Uh, yeah, we're still up. Yep. We've actually uh, matched the high of yesterday, which was a 382. Look at this, folks. We've hit the 382 of the high back here on July the 27th, or July the 19th. That's when Apple topped. And the 382 came in at 178.47. And the high so far has been 179.43, one point above the exact 382 retracement. We've hit it one, two, three days in a row. There's where we are right now. So it's still in a uh, downtrend, as you can see here. That is a downtrend, and it's right at the 382 of the high going way back to July. Very interesting. Let's take a break, 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we were focusing on the crude oil here because we we're uh, looking at a potential here at uh, 81.20. That's an ABCD right at the 50% retracement. We're only 15 pips away. So it's got a high probability of uh, getting there. Maybe it might not even stop there, but your stop would have to be below this level right in here. So you're risking about $300. If you buy it at 81.20, your stop's got to be here at around 80.60. So you got to risk yeah, 20, 60, about 400 bucks, 500 bucks. I don't know how you can trade it for less than 500. So. Anyway, that's my opinion. So you buy at 81.20 and put your stop here at uh, 80, uh, 20, 80, 80.60. So that's $600. That that's acceptable uh, for crude oil because it moves quite a bit. You know, we've uh, we've looked at this ABCD pattern and it's got everything. It's coming down nicely. Remember, this is a 13-minute chart, so we've got a chance of getting to it. We're very close. We're only uh, 13, uh, 16 pips away. So. I got my beeper on here to see if it's going to hold up. By the way, folks, I'm going to be doing the live trading session here on the 15th of November. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, that'll be my last one for the year. Won't do another one until May. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to have a special mystery guest 
uh, come on and trade with us for a little bit, but that's still up in the air. Mainly, I'm going to be busy enough doing what I want to do. I want to make money. I really concentrate on the making money. We'll do some teaching, of course, and show the patterns, but we want to you know, go through a lot of these things and pick out some nice trades that we can see and those we're looking at. Look at this one here, folks. In the, I just noticed this. Look at this beautiful uh, pattern that we had here uh, in the uh, – in the crude oil. Look at this. There's your perfect A, B, C, D right there, folks. There it is right there. Let's just draw it in. There's your X, A. There's your A leg right there. B leg, C leg, D leg. And there it is right there. A, B, C, D. See you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. The guest will be Jim Bartoglioni. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Tiger.